applications are you going to use your view touch for? Good question. First thing I want to point out about the laser pointer is that when you're using it, keep your thumb down on the yellow button so you can see where your laser is on the screen, and then when you want to select something, then you press the red button. Since it emulates a mouse, you can do just about anything a mouse could do with your laser pointer. It opens icons, minimizes windows, scrolls through windows, clicks on links, and you can even play games. ViewTouch is capable of accepting either a single click or a double click to select icons. What if you need a right mouse click to select something on a menu? Let me show you how. To change the pen's clicking functionality, open the ViewTouch pen program. You can either click on the icon on the desktop or click on the button in the ViewTouch control panel. By default, the ViewTouch pen closes up this little square image of a mouse. Clicking on it opens the pen menu. On the pen menu, there are options. Let's start with swapping between the left mouse click and the right mouse click. Select Swap, and your next mouse click will be interpreted as a right mouse click. Then it will go back to being a left mouse click. The question mark displays the manufacturer and software version. And the X button, well, it closes the pen software. One of the most popular functions of the pen is the annotation program. If you click on the pen menu, you can go down and select the color of the pen that you want to draw with. After you've selected it, you can go out and draw with that color. If you want to erase what you've done, you can just click on the trash can. You can use the colors to highlight some information, draw something, illustrate a point that you're making as you speak. Click on undo, let me draw a couple circles here. And then you can click on undo if you want to get rid of something, or redo if you want to put them back. And when you're done, if you want to get rid of everything, you can hit the trash can and they're gone. Say you've got something on screen you really want to say. Go to the pen menu and select the save icon. And then you can save it as either a bitmap or a JPEG file. You'll notice that there are two arrows on the ViewTouch pen menu. What are those for? Well, if you're familiar with using PowerPoint, you know that a single click advances the slides to the next slide. Maybe that's not what you want to do. Well, let me show you how to change that. Go into PowerPoint, and in the slide transition menu, you'll see where it says on mouse click. The default is to have that checked. We don't want to have that checked. So deselect it, press apply to all slides, and then if you go to the slideshow, you'll see that the down button advances it to the next slide, and the up button takes us back to the previous slide. While the pen menu is open, you can click on the pen button and add annotations to your slides. You could circle something important, or write in good responses from your audience. You can also still use all your PowerPoint tools. You could select the highlighter and highlight something. Or any of the other tools that come with PowerPoint. You've got choice. Now that we've seen what ViewTouch can do with the pen, let's see what it can do without the pen. First, let's pick a program, such as Paint. Then we pick a tool and a color, and then maybe a fill color. One more tool, let's see, paintbrush. It's as easy as that. The flexible tip also can be used to draw and create shapes either close up or with the extension rods as I have a place right now. Another program called Drawing for Children. With the view touch, you can select anything from the menu and create whole worlds of fantasy.
and erase any mistakes you've made. Another great application, letters. Point to the A. A. And the apple drops into animal's basket. A. The view touch is so simple, even kindergartners can use it. Another useful capability is using screen for writing. Handwriting recognition is a popular application. Applications such as Word actually support handwriting, but you'll have to install it since it isn't the default. You'll need your MS Office install. Once open, the handwriting recognition menu will be located on your taskbar down here. But you can also select this tool right anywhere. And that allows us to write anywhere within our application. And it will translate it into text. Say I wanted to add an image as well. Go down here, select drawing tool, draw a picture, and then I can insert it into my Word document. Most versions of Windows include a standard on-screen keyboard. So we go down here and hit the hand again, and then we hit on-screen keyboard, and then you can type anything you like. A touch screen can supplement the functionality of the view touch with any of the programs we've seen demonstrated today. The greater resolution of the magic touch really enhances the drawing and writing capabilities. Both View Touch and Magic Touch can be installed and used on the exact same computer without any conflicts. I've rearranged the projector and the sensor here so I can give you a quick demo of how rear projection is different from front projection. The only real difference in the View Touch setup is selecting the display type as rear projection and that the sensor location is selected as behind the screen. It is possible to have rear projection but have the sensor in front. The setting calibration and sensitivity is exactly the same as before, but the major benefit of rear projection system is that you're not going to get in the way of the beam of the projector, nor are you going to be blinded by it. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the ViewTouch product. We hope we've answered many of your questions today. Please feel free to contact us if you have other questions you'd like answered. You can reach us by calling 1-800-624-4289 or you can email at sales at magictouch.com or download more information at Keytech's website at www.magictouch.com. Thanks for watching.